Hey peeps, Pickle 16 here recording a video that I can't do on YouTube because he's such a little baby that he had to remove it. Well, I already saved it an entire year ago. Well, not year, actually two years ago. And as such, I am going to do a live reaction to it. Woohoo, let's start. I apologize for the small screen. But exploring is fun, you know, because we haven't seen this place like 10 times before. Be prepared to waste your time when you watch the first 10 minutes of this video, which is what I'm doing right now, because the first bunch of this video is just gameplay footage of the Pyramid Star. This is fun! Exploring is fun! Fun, fun, fun! He just keeps repeating that word so then we'll get enticed to watch more. What relevance does this have to the video- to the rest of the video? Absolutely none. He could have instantly skipped to the part where he's, you know, traveling back. Ooh, spoilers. Everyone's talked about it by this point. I, I worked with him extensively on this video for a bit. I didn't realize it was this screwed up. But hey, I was only 15 and I was a dumbo back then. I can sense someone here. Who are you sensing? Yourself? Maybe if he didn't have this pointless two minutes of gameplay footage. Let's see if it'll teleport me somewhere. Well, you know, since it's a star. A star? You mean the star, right? Okay, everyone knows that was just a screen cut. This is going to be easy. You know. Yeah, because it's not part of the story. How does he know anybody's here? Seven years at the time of this video. Which he refuses to state to any of his fans. is totally not ripping off Sonic Generations. Welcome to the continuity breaks I'm about to mention here. He just removed all the textures, including the ones for his hat. Wait a minute, let's get back there! If I talked to my classic self, it would've been- He's talking about this as if it's past sense! If I talked to my- But like... This is complete rip-off of Sonic Generations here, but like... I don't even. And yeah, he's completely fine with talking to counterparts as well. Let me quote my good friend here. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's totally...
totally not probably what Starmer 3 sounded like back then. Plus, he had a completely different color code back then. What, the black and blue one that he just completely forgot because, I don't know, I like this old orange and yellow one better. We're going to break continuity. Everyone cringes at their old self. The time police is watching this right now. <laughs> Somebody explain that to me. Insert a scene of where everyone says, I am worried about him. Where is he? Fun fact, Mario Mario 664 was not even in the Skype conversation. He just dumped some random color codes into the area and that's it. He put me in because of the various jokes of which you'll see in a moment. Which I'm not very proud of. I know where he is. He was in a pyramid last I saw. And for some reason, I have complete knowledge of how the hell he traveled back in time. Let me quote my good friend here. Unfortunately. Even though I wasn't there, I somehow know he's in 2007 right now. And I somehow have this device that allows us to peek at what he's doing like stalkers. Yeah, if the time police protect time, then how come they're doing nothing right now? You shouldn't be here! Pointless title. I can't fast forward, Windows Media Player is not allowing me to. Stupid AVIs. Welcome to continuity break. Do I say anything that's in the script? Fun fact, you don't. Wait for it. I compared this in the first video I made on this channel, and I already established the continuity errors this brings out. He never said this line! In Summer Generation, Summer 3 visits the past, aka January 2007, before he made his first blooper. In the video, they record for blooper 1, but Summer 3 of 2013 tells Mario not to play Scatman. First continuity break right there. That's not just it, ha ha ha. Mario's lines are completely different from the first blooper. Don't believe me? Let's watch footage of the same recorded scene of both Summer Generation and Blooper 1. Summer 3 cannot copy the exact same script over. There is no Scatman alert, and Starman 3 is breaking continuity of his own timeline. Oh, and if Starman 3 is supposed to be following the camera, then... Where's his old self? Explain that to me. So, did Starman 3 of the past just refilm it, or is this the actual events that happened? Well done for breaking your own continuity, Starman 3. Oh wait, you already did. Welcome to Pointless Slide um, Scene 2. It's obviously not the same footage you used when you recorded Blooper 1. Really, the only thing that's consistent in these scenes is the fact that Mario is in his system B3 look, which is the same as what Blooper 1 was. That is the only thing that's consistent. Okay, you'll see it. Yeah, he'll know, and then he'll have to figure out the timeline break.
Okay, let me pause it here for a second. This thing that I'm highlighting here, he would not stop with that joke around the production of this video. He would constantly, constantly say that when he was making the video and every single time he saw me or something like that, he was like, oh, what if my name was like your name, you know? Because I'm somehow attracted to your name because I want to stalk you or something. I don't know. He would not stop with the yellow lol 13 thing. He would not, not, he would just not stop at all. And second of all, how would he even know who I am? In 2007, I was nine years old. I wasn't even on the internet because my internet was that bad. Moving on. I didn't know you had a brother. He made Luigi fans so dumb as to think I apparently actually do have a brother, even though it was a complete and utter misinterpretation. The line I'm about to voice act right now, I had no idea what the scene was actually going to be for. I just talk like a normal person because that was what I was told to do, and I didn't even know I was telling Luigi fan off. If I did, I probably would have had a burn voice, not a completely normal talking voice. Simon 2 just lied his name to Mario. Apparently he's preventing you from creating a time paradox. I don't actually have a brother. The, I literally read off the Skype message he sent me when I was reading the script. And this was in a call, too! Sad face! Luigi fan said that commonly around the time of the filming of this video. Don't be surprised. He really wanted to use the sad face joke in something. I could make it a lot better. Uh, we did not see that in the video at all. And especially since it's going to break continuity, we have no idea if it's actually going to be uploaded. Seriously, we don't know what even he filmed. Because he somehow films and then he uploads in the same video, but we don't know if it's the original footage or the edited footage. Well, well done, continuity. I've already mentioned this mostly. Yeah, because I have so many. I recorded all that! I recorded all of that. Even though, you know, it's not the same as 2007. Well, you've done a pretty good job of evading him so far, you know, just invisibly walking through the middle of the floor like a ninja and apparently appearing just behind Mario as he comes into the slide room where you are right now. You keep mentioning these time police, but they're not doing a single dang thing! Because you had to see the past. What kind of relevance does that have to now? In 2007, there were no YouTube Rangers. I'm so totally hoping the past version of myself doesn't find out who I am, but, you know, I'll just mention that there weren't any YouTube Rangers in this time because, you know, people could just not look at your videos and notice that you made it, not in 2008, but in 2009. Fail. Welcome to padding! I actually told them to edit one of the scenes around here. Mario originally said, why don't you go back to 2013 or something? And I had to change it when I was viewing the preview. Well, tell them to change it because I was watching the preview. Because that just wouldn't make any dang sense. The video doesn't make any sense at all. I'll tell you what scene he edited. Because it's definitely what I told him to type. Oh, well done for, you know, pasting Mario there too. Mario just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. I'm just apparently looking at my past, because why not? 
in this pass. Okay, this is the line he changed, which I told him to change. Why aren't you supposed to be wherever you came from? Because he says, why aren't you supposed to be from 2013, even though Starman 3 never mentioned he was from 2013. <laughs> I told him to change that. That was my edit. But, you know, the video doesn't make any sense, and I contributed towards this madness. It should be whenever, but eh. We finished your blooper one! Even though it's not the same blooper one. Yeah, but that's just gonna become irrelevant. It's uploading! Even the uploading shouldn't be a capital, but you know, punctuation errors. He should... Which version is he uploading? Is he uploading the original or is he uploading the edited version where the guy interrupted him and apparently told him to not scat man? Oh, and you know, he just suddenly vanished during when Mario ran in the room. Unless he reverse filmed, but... Pointless. I wish I had friends. I wish I'm all, all dance now. Wee! Summer three has mentioned in some of his older videos that he was part of an older group called Next Gen Studio before he made his own group called YouTube Rangers. If he's complaining why he doesn't exactly have friends then why doesn't he mention that? Not to mention, he also mentions quite a lot in some of the earlier videos unintentionally that he also has a messaging service, MSN, at the time, I think. Yet, none of these two things are mentioned. He probably has contact with other people, but completely forgets this and, neg and completely um, forgets to mention this. Just a thing I picked up from the older videos. Continuity and consistency once again. This is worse than 4x3, but in the original YouTube video it was 4x3. Eh? Welcome to pointless and redundancy. Pointlessness and redundancy. I will do something that will make you suffer! Even though it's apparently very dark. That's just opacity. I am here to wipe out time and space for no reason! And I want to wipe you out for no reason as well! What are my motives? What are my motives again? Uh, what am I doing? According to the future file, you know, because you can just drag files out of time and space. Created in 2009, he makes Mario 64 bloopers and Roblox goes crazy, and has every single thing about you all, even though apparently this file is just dr has English words in time and sp- I'm done. Throughout the video, he keeps mentioning the Time Police. The Time Police was a sort of concept made up by Mario Mario 54321, which wasn't really explained clearly in full detail, so let me just explain before you get really confused as to what I'm even rambling about. The Time Police are a supposed concept in this Dimensions thing, where they just somewhat inhabit time, and they also happen to, you know, monitor time and make sure people actually go across things properly. You know, they're supposed to monitor time. Their name pretty much pretty much tells you that they are police of time. So they generally 
prevent things like paradoxes from happening, though they've technically they've technically failed on many occasions, such as the Staragus incident he mentions earlier in the video in, I think it's called Time 3 of Mario Mario's videos. Like I said in the video, he tries to link his continuity up to Mario Mario's, which usually fails due to how broken the continuity is. Now, in terms of what these time police actually do, they're not really seen, and they're not, they don't really seem to have done much at all. There's like, one instance of them was named in the Truth of Oirem Oirem video that he met, that Mario Mario made, where they apparently were told that they, they dueled with Oirem Oirem and his crime thing when they travelled back in time to end up causing the whole events of Oirem Oirem 1-2-3-4-5 and the Dark Star X. But like, these time police don't have any real explanative purpose, they just don't, they just inhabit time, but they don't seem to do anything. They're not really doing anything here, but the fact that they hired Starman 3 to fix his old self is kind of telling you that Starman 3 is really self-promoting himself more by having them rely on him so much as to not even try and do things themselves. What are their powers? What can they do? We're not really seen because Starman 3 always wants to save the day. He always wants to be the hero. He never really wants anybody else to show that they can prove themselves. They're just all random NPCs and he's the Mario. They're, they're all like Peach and Toads and like any actual Mario character you can think of, there is an NPC that doesn't do much in a Mario game aside from talk to you and sort of provide evidence to help you out by talking to you and giving you support, like Peach or Toad. Everyone in the bloopers that is not Starman 3 is basically that, including the Time Police and including anybody else. This is just part of his behavior in terms of how he makes videos and how he just, you know, generally talks to people. He is dragging people in by making people think he is so important that everyone in this world relies on him. Mario, in his world, kind of has a reason to do so because everyone is so weak. But him in his world, everyone else is equal and it's not really... These time police are supposed to govern time. They're really supposed to be like the time government. Where are they? What are their motives? What do they look like aside from Bomberman? Why do they have these devices? How do they know how powerful he is? There are so many questions you can ask in this blooper about these these time police and why they aren't doing anything. But, like, you don't even know who they are. What kind of group are they? What, who are they made up of aside from Bomberman? And maybe Mario Star is one? Nobody knows. It's terrible. I was about to make that, you know, because I'm, like, totally going to cancel it now and kill the timeline. Is it my group? Maybe I have no idea since he just said it holds everything about you and your future. Uh, no time paradox is being caused because, you know, these time police you keep talking about don't exist. Well done for continuity breaking! You will never see me do this ever, ever. There's no way to save time and space now, cause all I'm doing is standing here. And you know, apparently Starman 3 is the center of the universe, so if you wipe him out, you wipe everything out. I'm going to kill you, and apparently by killing you, I'm going to murder time and space too. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dangerous. You can't defeat the YouTube Rangers, you know, because there's only two of you. Duh. 
Though Sonic made good use of it back in the things. Ooh! I get power by a hat! You mad? It's time in time! Ah! Okay. Mask! Why is this? Why is this? This is such a good scene, but I had to be tormented by terrible characters and this terrible video. If it was this fight alone, I think I'd be fine with it. Oh, you know, because he landed on the hill and apparently lands on the grass. I don't know. Green screen fights. Brandon, why did you have to make this terrible thi this thing for this terrible video? Why? Oh, you know, obligatory running scene. If this video was just this fight scene, I wouldn't need to make this video in the first place. seen Starman 3 use any other star aside from his fire star? Good, cause not cause you won't ever see any other elemental star. Except from me of course, but that'll just be so weak. Starman 3 has used nothing but his fire star in any of his bloopers and videos this whole time. So much for your gift, Starman! Oh, right, he stole them from the Luigi fan. You know, Sonic 3 has no idea how to actually do a small one. You know, something like, okay, or right. Ever noticed that? This is Brandon's script, though, so... You know, I wish I knew what this music was. It's probably a galaxy song. <laughs> and it's the only thing apparently keeping me in the air, too. Ugh. <laughs> That's still good. Even though he never really posed a threat anyway. Ah, now we're back to this. Even though I have no idea how to travel back. Okay, did Cla did they did they both forget or do they both remember? Does one forget, the other not? Is the one the f that remembers it the future one? EXPLAIN! If you sensed that there was evil, why didn't you stop it yourself? Alright, oh, cause Simon 3 is a sociopath and he wants to self-promote himself so then he can drag his fans into his evil hands. Once again from my good friend. Unfortunately. And you know, sexually RP with them like he does with Yoshi's. You made him travel because you're so weak yourself! I'm a god, but I can't stop someone who's traveling through time and space. Bad portal effect. This is the same clip from before, you realize that? Just repeated over and over. He had no idea how to refilm the script. See? It loops!
I'm going to assume that the old one forgets. He made this video shortly after this date. Your friends are here. We've been stalking you the whole time. He's shoehorning the 10k special into this video. It's actually nothing. You'd be dead. Insert him f putting five color codes with separate lines that have no correlation to any of our personalities. Yeah, you're so great. You're so great at remixes and stuff and subscribers. And you know, thanks for giving... Okay. Thanks for giving me ideas for my bloopers. If it weren't for you, people wouldn't laugh because, you know... Salmon 3 was the only contributor to Super Mario Glitchy Force bloopers, and he is the only reason that they laugh at his videos. Not because they're actually funny, or they're genuinely made with actually good effects and stories, and genuinely good humor. No! It's because Salmon 3 is in the video, that's why. It's because Salmon 3 exists, that his videos have humor in them. It's because Starman 3 is in this world and he exists and he was with Super Mario Glitchy 4 for a long period of time, which is why people laugh at Super Mario Glitchy 4's bloopers. Round of applause for Starman 3, everybody! It's self-promotion. Super Mario Glitchy 4 was around long before Starman 3 came into his videos. That is completely incorrect. Super Mario Glitchy 4's bloopers are funny because they're actually funny. Not because Starman 3 promoted them to death. And you know, forced SMG4 to put him in every single video in 2012 ever. Oh yeah, because this is so relevant to Bryn. He was running out of script lines, obviously. This is actually my dri- You know, because he quit now. Where's Super Mario Glitchy 4? Where's MM? Where's Bryn? Where's LF? You know, because we're so dang lazy. And, you know, we stalked you. And we somehow knew you were in 2007. And we stalked you. And, well... This story has no correlation with any of the events that happen to each other in it. Now you've found out what you did because, you know, you did it! Yeah, the time police watched this situation, even though they never did anything. They never even showed their faces. I'm going to work hard at 15,000 15, subscribers by, you know, luring in all my little children to, ki to kill. We stick together and have fun to get, you know, like kicking people out because they want to help each other, stealing each other's ideas, making broken promises. That's sticking together and having fun together! Especially Charm, Kyle, Max, and whoever the hell they were. And then every one of our corpses died that day. Hunters and Mario fan died in the production of this video. In his timeline. I'm done!